The Prisoner of Samarkand Hakim Iskandar Zaramez and Abdul Wahab al Hindi were passing the corner of a large house in Samarkand one day when they heard a wild cry. They are torturing some poor wretch, said al Hindi, stopping and standing still as the cries increased. Would you have the suffering eased? asked Zaramez. Naturally, as a wali, a saint, you can surely do it if there be God's permission. Very well, said the Hakim, and I shall demonstrate something. Zaramez moved five paces away from the corner of the house. The cries stopped. You withdraw, and the tumult ceases. Assuredly I have always heard that it is the nearness to the afflicted person which assuages pain, said El hindi The Hakim smiled but said no more, making the sign which among the Sufis signifies, a question may have no answer at a certain time because of the state of the querent. Many years later, when El hindi was in Morocco, he listened to a dervish relating his experiences to a group of students one night in the closed city of Maula Idris. Among other things, the dervish said, On such and such a day of the month of Ramadan al-Mubarak, so many years ago, I was seized as a vagrant because of my apparent poverty and meagre appearance. I was left in a stone-built cell at one corner of the outside wall of the Qazi's house, pending judgment. This was in the northern vicinity of Samarkand. I had been contented with my lot and sitting in silent contemplation when I felt, quite unmistakably and from outside not far away, the presence of a saint. I started to howl and shriek and to throw myself about because a power was upon me and because I could not escape however much I wanted to approach him. Then I felt that he had moved away as if disturbed by my clamour. I tried to let him come near again by letting myself become as slack and silent as the night. The sheikh of the dervish circles said, Your experience could have instructed you that people are most profoundly affected by baraka, or spiritual power, when for all apparent purposes it is beyond their reach. The wali was teaching you this, even though you were in prison and he may have seemed to outside observers to be doing something entirely different, or even nothing at all. El Hindi relates, This occasion was the beginning of my real understanding, that it is not wonderful that people have spiritual experiences. What might be wonderful is that so few people have them. What is certainly more wonderful is that instead of learning from them, they worship the experience and count it as something which it is not.